So what I showed you before were really quite regular uh, wave ripples, and you can see them in this uh, image as well. Some of the crests are nicely preserved, and you can see this nice waveform actually in the sediment here. So one of the interesting things about this image, though, is that uh, above the waves you have some planar laminations and planar surfaces, and there are actually some wave ripple laminations in here uh, that show a uh, dip in both directions, but the actual ripple crests were eroded away uh, before the sediment up here uh, was being deposited. If you look carefully um, down here, just above the pen or pencil, you can also see that some lamina are going this way and some lamina are going uh, the other way. So we have the really nice wave, wave ripples preserved here and less uh, regular wave ripples uh, preserved in both of these other layers. Uh, the image on the right here also has wave ripples, so we have a boundary uh, here between uh, coarser sand uh, and uh, fine sand. And then if you look within this fine sand zone, there are lamina that dip in a lot of different directions. So there's some that are coming down here, there's some that are coming up. You can see some of the, the crests here. There's a trough in here, crests coming up here, probably some oblique layers in here. Right? So in this particular case, there are a lot of lamina going in different directions, um, and they tend to be uh, quite rounded, and the lamina are dipping in both directions. So where we see some of these more rounded lamina, they meet the symmetry criteria, and then we also have lamina dipping in two directions. So the ripple cross lamination can really look quite different depending on the characteristics of the waves. So in this particular example we just discussed, the, it's really quite irregular and that suggests that the waves probably moved in irregular directions as well. Over on the left side here where we have these really nicely regular symmetric uh, ripple marks, probably the waves were coming in in uh, one direction um, and um, very consistently through time, producing a much more regular lamination. So cross-ripple lamination um, from waves can really tell you a lot about the environment and the dynamics of the waves. Thanks for watching.